Welcome everyone, this is Ken Blaster. I'm here to tell you that the Bliss Arpeggiator is now released for free for all the Pro Tools users. You can use it directly in Pro Tools to create some complex arpeggiators with your favorite plugins or with your synthesizers. So let me tell you more about the plugin and how we designed it with the Bliss team and how we can use it in Pro Tools. So first off, you have to open an instrument track. Then on your track, you are going to go to the inserts and here in MIDI plugins, Bliss Arpeggiator for Pro Tools will appear. And there, it's on your track, you can put your MIDI here and play them. There's a very cool thing about this arpeggiator is that there is a scene section. So when you drag it, automatically, you can play with it and have some sound. You don't have to insert an uh, instrument, but if you want to use it with your favorite instruments, you just go back to the mix window and you can insert on top of it, right here, the instrument you want. And there you go. The goal is really that uh, if you're, for example, with other musicians in the room recording in Pro Tools, you can really easily start jumping in and uh, uh, sending some MIDI information to your uh, beloved synthesizer and uh, start uh, playing with them, you know, uh, as a band together, for example. So even through Pro Tools, you will be able to, you know, take part in the music. For those who want to go deeper, want to do presets from scratch, or even who just find a preset that they like and want to understand which button to turn, I'm going to break down the whole Bliss Arpeggiator for Pro Tools and show you all the different bricks that build this tool. Let's go. As you can see, there are a lot of windows. Uh, the main one, of course. Uh, a performance window where you can link anything to, for example, your MIDI controllers. There are two LFOs that you can link to anything. There's the motion sequencer, it's a really unique tool where you can send some uh, uh, modulation sequences to any parameter in the arpeggiator in rhythm with your project. And finally, there is a FM synth that is inside the plugin, so you can use it really without connecting anything. All right, so in the arpeggiator section, which is the main window, you can see there are all these parameters that we can tweak and then we can act on them later with the other windows. So the main window will be the sequence one as a starter. It's the window where you decide uh, the order in which your notes will be played. Of course, we have the regular ones, the normal mode, up, or converge, pinky. And obviously, we drew some inspiration from other uh, music that I love. For example, the trance style. Or some famous movies, video games, or even composers. Another really interesting and unique feature is the polyphony window. Of course, you can put the chord trigger mode like in every plugin, but there is uh, this option to add one or two notes, three notes, and they will play in the order that you selected in this uh, window, you know. You can even add a bass that will always be there. Then with the pattern window, we introduce the notion of polyrhythmic rhythm uh, inside the arpeggiator. So you can go from this repetitive sequence to one that plays two notes out of three. Just have some interesting rhythm, you know, especially with long repetitive notes. You can have some like techno things really easily. Then the trigger mode, really simple as usual. But there is one thing you don't know yet, which is the MIDI note mode. That's an idea that I wanted on an arpeggiator for a very long time, and we worked a lot with uh, a Bliss to be able to realize it. The concept was to separate the rhythm and the notes, a bit like a modular synthesizer, actually. So there will be a right hand or a MIDI file that will play some uh, chords, 
and there would be the left end or a MIDI file that would trigger the chord. So for example here if I play a D minus one on the keyboard it will trigger my chord. Or I can put it to chord trigger mode to have the same kind of uh, chord effect stab, you know. And finally, the reset part that is really interesting too, it allows you to loop a certain section. I think this is especially efficient if you mix pattern and reset. For example, uh, you can go from something polyrhythmic and a bit weird. That loops, but... Uh, the groove is still a bit weird, you know? But then if you start resetting every two bars, for example, there you really have a pattern that, that's going on, you know? All right, thank you for sticking with me. Let's see what you're gonna do with the Bliss Arpeggiator for Pro Tools and see you around.